Welcome to our third session in our discussion of cults. Now there's many reasons why people find it difficult on earth today to trust that a person has good intentions and a pure heart. Mm. Hopefully in this discussion we'll highlight some of those things. A lot of the questions we're going to talk about today come from people who, after many years of listening to Divine Truth, still have doubts about what we teach and especially about the character of Jesus, who's with me here today to go through the questions. Mm. So a lot of the questions you're going to hear are actually driven by fears, especially fears about religion and money. But we feel it's good to work through them and let you hear the answers. Yeah. So I hope you enjoy our session. Yes, and also a lot of these questions have been taken by people scouring the internet, I suppose you could yes. say, um, looking for uh, evidences of what, how you can recognise a cult. And, and I find many of the questions quite amusing in, in a lot of ways because if you use these particular things as evidence to, to see a cult, mm -hmm. then you'll probably see cults in pretty much... <laughs> Every, everything in, the, in your daily life. <laughs> That's right. A lot yeah. of the questions are based upon checklists and of different features of cults. Yeah. And a lot of these features you'll find in governments and in religions and even in some families. So, in or, some families. Or in, in a lot of families. Family. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. it's interesting to explore. Um, certainly, I don't think we agree that any of these features are loving. No. Uh, so if governments and families and religions all got rid of these features, the world would be definitely wonderful. be a much better <laughs> place. But maybe we should get on and just talk about, go through the go questions. Go through these questions, yeah. yeah. 